Hey everybody! It's Argelfump, and this is the 2020 Nancy Drew Games Mega Marathon! I'm going to play all of the Nancy Drew games in order from start to finish. I really wasn't planning on doing another big Nancy Drew marathon this year, but, well, the world had other plans. Pretty much everyone is under quarantine right now due to the coronavirus. So how are you people doing in the live stream? You know, I figured, hey, why not just do another 100-hour marathon? I've got nothing better to do. I'm stuck inside my house all day. I can't go out or talk to other people. It's basically like I was single again. Yeah, just, just the exact same thing that happened to me when I was just living by myself. So, uh, let's get started. Ooh, which mode should we play on? Junior, senior, our master detective. Yeah, everything's canceled except Nancy Drew. Yes, Nancy Drew is the only thing that has not been canceled due to the quarantine. I like how they call this a role-playing mystery game. It would be so awesome if this game was an RPG. I do not believe it is an RPG. I believe it's an adventure game. Would be cool if it was an RPG. Okay, so we had to vote for uh, Master Mode. So, uh, let's do it. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a semester off to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student was murdered at the high school last night. And Daryl Gray, the student council president, found the body. When Aunt Eloise heard, she rushed me right over and introduced me to the principal. He asked if I would try to find out who did it and why. So it's undercover I go. My only contact is Daryl, so I'm off to solve a murder. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. <laughs> so that's the start of the game. Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill. She is here to solve a murder mystery. And this is one of the games where you can zoom up down on the screen. That's cool, I guess. And we have this thing in the corner, which really isn't good for anything. Yeah, all the artwork is cartoony style in this game. I forgot. That's so crazy. Okay. It's the only game with cartoon characters. Nancy, I had to close the school library early today. But if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember, you can find the combination in the house if you need it. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. Yeah, Nancy Drew has taken a whole semester off due to the coronavirus. Um, <laughs> our local schools uh, were canceled for like two weeks, and then they've been canceled for an extra month. So, uh, I guess all the stay-at-home parents like me are going to be homeschooling from now on. That'll be fun. Money. Wow, Aunt Eloise has money. And a phone card. Oh boy, because cell phones aren't a thing yet. This game is from 1998. Okay, so I think we can check out the other drawer for the clue. Isn't there, like, supposed to be a clue in the drawer? I guess it could be a different drawer. I don't remember. Yeah. You can find the combination in the house if you look hard, but I'm not telling you what the combination is because I'm not a very nice aunt. Aunt Eloise. Nancy's rarely seen Aunt Eloise. Apparently Aunt Eloise looks a lot like her father, and that's all I know about Aunt Eloise. Lives in New York. Reminder, the sophomore book sale is Wednesday. So what's a, what's a sophomore book sale? Does that mean they only sell to sophomores? Is there a junior... Are a, a, a senior um, uh, uh, book sale? Yeah, yeah. Nancy's just going just to destroy uh, uh, Aunt Eloise's house, trying to find this passcode. Aunt Eloise comes in and is like, "What did you do to my house?" It's like, "Well, you should have given me the password to the safe. I couldn't find it." There's a TV remote. I can watch some TV. The Sale Del Mar Country Club. Yeah, I'm gonna open up somebody's private mail. Yeah, that seems like a great idea, Nancy. Okay, so here's the uh, the symbol D, um, Delta Phi Kappa Sigma. No, that's a Delta. That's the Delta. Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. Yeah, it says right here. It's a sorority. 
Uh, Aunt Eloise was part of it. And it's in Florida. Well, of course it's in Florida. The entire game is in Florida. Okay, so that's the passcode. Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. The safe. Hidden here. It's a very safe place. Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. Yay! It could be that the sophomores are the ones who are raising money by selling books, but it looks like it's being put on by librarian Aunt Eloise. Right? Okay, so this is a slider puzzle. Oh, I don't know what the picture looks like. Can I zoom away? Okay, the picture looks like this. Yeah, so Master Sleuth Mode uh, changes this puzzle, makes it a 3x3, three three, uh, a 4x4 four four puzzle. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, let's see if we can do this. This piece goes in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to start by uh, getting that piece in the upper left-hand corner. I don't know what piece goes next. Does this piece go underneath it? Yeah, that looks like it goes underneath it. So let's move the piece that's underneath it. And then we're going to move the piece that's uh, to the right of it. But what's the piece that's to... Is that the piece that's to the right of it? I don't know. Yeah, so usually with the slider puzzles, that's how I solve it. Upper left piece, piece below it, piece right of it, and then the, the, the fourth piece piece that connects those ones. Yeah, that doesn't look correct. That doesn't look correct. I'm gonna back away. So... Hmm... Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I got that right. And then it's just gonna be white flowers. Uh, somewhere there in the middle. So I guess it was supposed to be this. Yeah, I guess that's actually it. I guess that's supposed to be it. Fantastic. Okay. So now, uh, now that I've got the 2x2 uh, two two square in the upper left-hand corner, I'll try to get this 2x2 uh, two two square. And the way to do that is by getting the two pieces that go in the, the far edge. So which piece goes there in the bottom... bottom... Uh, Left hand corner, hmm, maybe this one? Let's see, nope, that's not it. Okay, so what piece would go underneath that? Something with red, this one, perhaps. Let's try, uh-uh, uh, I didn't mean to move those two, yeah. Once you get these four in place, just never touch them again. Okay, so now let's try this. That looks pretty good. So now let's get these two pieces into place. Um, it looks like this is going to be the piece that goes here. So let me get it down on the bottom. Just one place away from where I'm trying to get it. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to be uh, the roses underneath. Okay, cool. So in order to do that, we're just going to have to shuffle things around a little bit like this with uh, this piece here and the piece uh, that goes underneath it, right of it. I did the exact same thing with those two pieces there. That way I can zoom like this, and I've got the entire left-hand side of the board done. This is my this is my top secret strategy for solving slider puzzles. It works sometimes. So uh, next, I need to figure out which pieces go in the upper right. These two pieces, maybe? Does those two pieces look like they might go in the upper right? They certainly do. So I'll go like this. It's basically the same strategy I did with these two pieces and these two pieces, except it's turned, uh, what do you call it, uh, 180 degrees clockwise. Because I'm going to get these two pieces on top, so then I need to get the next two pieces. I think it's going to be this one. Yep, it's going to be that one. Or it could be this one. Mm, no, that one looks better, right? This piece looks better. So piece next to it is that one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's 
gonna look like this. Done. So the school computer is Eloise Drew, O Wise Elder is her password. I like Aunt Eloise's place. I wish there was more to do. It's basically this is it. This is it. We we solved the puzzles in Aunt Eloise's. We can look around, I guess. Look around. Come back, watch some videos once Nancy gets some videos. I wonder who that that's a picture of though. Can I see the picture? Oh, I wanted to see that picture. Oh, I look in this random book. It's Florida. Oh my gosh, look, it's a code. It's a secret code and, and Morse code. And I don't I don't know. I don't know Morse code. I do not have it memorized. It's my TV screen. Oh no, the VCR is broken. Oh no, all we can do is watch tapes. Oh no, Aunt Eloise, come on. It's 2020, Aunt Eloise, get yourself a DVD player. And there's a key, another key. It looks like the same key. I like how it's this book is called Secrets Can Kill. You can kind of see those letters there. <laughs> Secrets Can Kill, oh my gosh. That's cute. What about here? Oh, is the key for this? The blanket holder? Gotta lock up my blankets. We don't want thieves stealing blankets after all. And you have to use your key every time you open up the, the uh, blanket holder. This gives you a quarter. Yay! It's a quarter. Glasses here. Hidden clues are everywhere is the title of this book. M I T C H. That's a hidden clue, everybody. Mitch. Hmm. I thought Mitch was the local HVAC guy. Why? Why are they? Why are they spelling out his name? That's weird. And Eloise. Her furniture. Oh my gosh. Ooh, looking up and down. What's this on the table? Makeup. I guess we can't do anything with it, but I guess it's cool. Mm, I guess. So who are these pictures of? Because Aunt Eloise has never been married, right? And is that supposed to be baby Nancy? Did Aunt Eloise pretend to get married just for a photo shoot or something? <laughs> yeah, Aunt Eloise has her passport, a stash of money, like she's just about to flee the country. That's exactly what it looks like. I do like scrolling up and down. It is so cute. It is so fun. And we can't go here to the rest of the house. Uh, I can't go down the hallway to the rest of the house either. So I'm going to imagine that's where the bathroom is. That's where Nancy stays. I do like the reflection of the glass window, though. That looks really cool. Let's zoom in on this picture. It's a picture. It's a very cute picture. So that's it for Aunt Eloise's. That's it for Aunt Eloise's. Uh, here's another useless area. <laughs> this is even more useless. Vandalay Pharmaceuticals. We'll be doing something here at the end of the game. Pretty much the, the end of the game. They're closed for inventory. Yeah, no. They're closed because of the quarantine. Closed because of the quarantine. So what do we do first? Do we go to the diner or do we go to the high school? The high school is where the murder took place and we have a bunch of people. Uh, the diner is where Nancy's undercover contact, Daryl Gray, is. Yeah, it could be Aunt Eloise is in the Witness Protection Program. Yeah. She, she was wrapped up in one of Nancy's crimes, and, um, you know, that's why she, uh, is now hiding from a potential criminal. Yeah, Eloise's maiden name is Drew. That's, that is, that is confirmed by the books. Uh, that's why, that's why she looks like Mr. Drew, um, their brother and sister. So this is a puzzle for later on. Uh, I think we can solve the puzzle now. Trying to get to the school. Yeah, it's really hard. I didn't notice that. You could zoom in that part of school. Did not notice that here. And the fighting manatees. Look at this football team. They all look so happy. Not really. Oh my gosh. They all need haircuts. Really. They, they do. They do. Zoom up. I love this. This game has a ceiling zoom. Woo! 
So administration, guidance offices, do we actually have these numbers on any of these things? It would be cool if there was a video lab and stuff. The video lab... I don't think we could go inside any of these rooms though, right? Yeah, oh, Nancy does like this huge jump. So when I click forward here, she jumps all the way to the end of the hall. Yeah, here's the video lab. Oh, it's not open though. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that's very sad. So here's the gym. Woo! Oh wow, you can really spin around and get dizzy here. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, bulletin board. Hidden clues are everywhere. This is upside down. If, if in the face of danger against a killer you dare, a very unlikely couple could be a helpful pair. Yeah, they named the gym after the, the CEO of uh, her interactive. It's very cute. Senior prom? Nice. Debate team. Ooh, for more information, call Daryl Gray. And here's the victim's room. Warning, tampering with crime scene evidence is a federal crime punishable by law. Violators incur a maximum prison sentence of 15 years. Fined up to $100,000. Oh my gosh. I don't want to risk a $100,000 fine. Nah, just kidding. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm totally going to I'm totally going to risk it. So what's his locker combination? 3135 or something? I think it's something like that. It's, it could be 2125. I'll actually have to look it up. I don't remember off the top of my head. So to look it up, uh, we go to the study gym. Study hall. It's actually over here. Hard to find that study dome, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, Jake. Jake. Let, let me use my phone card now. I think I'll be able to see it. Yeah, so Jake is 5253. That's how you spell Jake. On the phone, that's his phone number. Okay, so let's call one of Nancy's friends. Let's call, let's just call Bess. Why not? They give you hints depending on what you need to do and depending on which gameplay you mode, which gameplay mode you have. So each hint, they gave three different variations. Uh, junior mode has the easy version and master mode has the difficult one. This is Bess. Bess, I need some help. Any ideas? This is such a puzzling situation. That is a very useless hint, Bess. Just so, so useless. Pizza, 555 Tony? Let's get some pizza. I'm hungry. Get some pizza. Hey, this is Tony's Pizza. Leave your message. And let's call Aunt Eloise. 555-1204. That's the number on the, the calling card. The, the red light is being blinking, but I, I suppose I should read the menu. I, I, I can't figure out. I, I, I'm quite... I, it's blinking, but I, I... Oh, I don't know. Poor Aunt Eloise. Let's call George, then. Fane residents, George, this is Nancy. Can you give me some advice? There must be some place to go where you can find out lots of information. <laughs> Aw, that's the voice uh, they use for Nancy Drew in later games in the uh, series. Ooh, can I buy something? No, no, I cannot buy something. Uh, let's talk to a character, everybody. This is Connie. Hi, Connie. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Today, it's totally out of control. 
totally out of control. Is it that obvious? Is it that obvious? It's a small school. Nothing ever happens here. A new student is big news. Wow, I'm big news, everybody. Me being the new student, big news. I can't believe you even noticed me with all the excitement on campus today. We girls have to stick together. There are a lot of wolves walking around campus. Wolves? Uh-oh. What do you mean? You wouldn't want to waste your time with any of the guys at this school. They're pretty lame. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to date any of the guys in this school. They're all murder suspects. Are all the guys lame? There are a few who are cool. Jake Rogers was not one of them. I take it Jake wasn't very popular. I avoided him whenever I could. What made him such a sleaze? Jake was rude, self-centered, dishonest, and greedy. I gotta go now. Later. Rude, dishonest, self-centered, and greedy. Other than that, you liked him okay, right? Okay, so we've got magazines. Neapolitan Magazine. Winter wardrobe. Fresh looks for winter. Relieving stress and dating tips. Ooh, I want to read this. The sound. It's got sound. Nancy can't read these magazines, though. Fifteen. Ten steps to better grades. Best friend or worst enemy. Bringing up parents right. And then teen writing contest. Okay, can I look at any of these posters? Yes, I can. Guys and Dolls, Battles, Battle of the Bands, Judo Tournament, and then more prom, more prom, lots of prom here. What's up, Nancy? Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? Why would I have known the combination of that jerk's locker? Why are you asking so many questions, Nancy? You're not working for the police, are you? Ugh. I gotta go now. Later. Oh no, she figured out I'm an undercover agent and it only took her like two seconds. That's, that's not good. Okay, so let's see, is there anything else I can uh, examine here in this room? Doesn't look like it. Here's the teacher's lounge. Doesn't look like I can get inside. Here's the students of the month club. Yep. Oh, the students of the month. That's so cute. Okay, so here, side of school. Yeah, you can kind of read on these red uh, things. They've got letters. It says side of school, side of school, side of school. Yeah, really, it took it took Connie like no time at all to figure out Nancy's a, a spy. That's, uh, that's, that's bad news for Nancy. And, uh, let's talk to, uh, Hal. He's supposed to be, I mean, he's studying, right? But he's in a totally different part of the study hall. He's practicing some good social distancing. <laughs> that's what everybody's supposed to be doing right now. Social distancing. You need to stay six feet away from other people at all times. Just pretend, just pretend you have really, really, really bad, uh... Give me a second here, everyone. Sorry, I need to lock the door to my room because people will not stop going in and out when I'm clearly busy in the middle of live streaming. Okay, so they are not practicing good social distancing. Anyway, as I was saying, you know, just stop, just stop using deodorant and then everybody will be six feet away from you at all times and you'll be good. You'll be away from all those germs. So this puzzle, you want to put the uh, things together. They just put a line in between the, the letters. So it says a crane contestant in a mass disguise won the money despite all the lies. The ultimate hangout in the center of everything is the place you need to go to set up the final sting. Cool. And then save the world by recycling. You want to recycle. Okay. So, how? How? How are you doing? Oh, uh, we've got more clues here. Let's check more clues. Students' entries. Jake's locker combo was a part of his name. So this is your reading from right to left. Letters from right to left. Cool. So, uh, Jake's locker combo was a part of his name. Just find a phone decode his name so that's why that's where you're supposed to figure out the clue for uh, the the puzzle the phone combo let's talk to Hal a new face hi my name's Hal 
You sure arrived on a day with a lot of activity. New face. New face? I study every face I see. To me, the face reveals a lot about a person. Oh, did you ever examine the guy who was murdered? Did you ever study the face of the guy who was killed? Oh yeah, Jake Rogers was a dark soul. He created a lot of trouble. Dark soul? Dark soul? Jake wasn't a happy person and made others around him very unhappy too. Oh, so he's a typical teenager? How did Jake make people around him unhappy? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Okay, so somebody is saying, what, what, Earth Day is April 13th in this game on one of those signs? That's a bit weird, isn't it, huh? Hi, Nancy. Hi. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody can help with the locker puzzle. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes. We've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Dun, 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 dun. Talk to you later. I must go now, Nancy. So Connie was dating the victim. She thought he was uncool, a total wolf, but she was dating him anyway. Oh my gosh. So, so was she lying to me, or was she, I don't know, just dating a guy she hated? Student of the Month Club. I mean, student art exhibit, so... Got a picture of two people about to make out. That's creepy. Got an eye patch guy, like that. And then somebody just... What is that even supposed to be? Just pictures of peppers or something? And I don't know what this is. That's... That's creepy, too. Okay. Skull, skull, shoe, shoe, human body, person on the beach... A wolf. Oh, somebody's stretching. Do I have the library key? I think I do. I think that's the key. I got it from uh, Aunt Eloise's, right? Okay, this looks like it's backwards and upside down, doesn't it? Because this is the word it, and so you must... I can't read backwards and upside down. When things do go astray tonight at Vandalay, it will not something s ow ow my head okay I can't read that <laughs> but when things go astray tonight at Vandalay is is what that sign says so apparently somebody who uh, somebody knows the future and wrote messages about the future for Nancy to solve wow we have some psychic students in this school Okay, so there's more than one way to remove a chain so thick. Uh, aside from the combination, Mel's bolt cutter. Molt's bother, Molt's, Mel's bolt cutter can do the trick. Okay, so it says when things go astray tonight at Vandalay, it will not help to run, so you must grab the gun. Cool. These are some very, very useful, useful puzzles. I just want to know who wrote them. In the, uh, in the remastered version of the game, the person who wrote all the clues was Jake, because he was setting up a puzzle. Sabotage should cause concern, but with the gloves you will not burn. I'm reading all the letters, all the words that are bolded and, uh, italicized. SAT preparation. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I seem to remember, like, in the original... In, in the original book, Hal was, uh... That's... Hal was being a bad person and, like, stealing the answers for the SATs. Bad, bad, bad Hal. Protect the manatees. This is about the manatees. want to protect the manatee population. Zodiac and you. I don't think those are, like, needed for anything, right? It's just a random... some random books here. Let's read all these random books. Why not? Facets of Violence. 
There's no one cause for violence. Violence is a factor. There's, there's a number of factors here. Frustration, anger, hatred, paranoia, prejudice, and powerlessness can lead to violence. And I like some of these other titles, like Who to Believe, Analyzing Suspects and Suspicions. Nancy could use these books. Unlocking the Truth for Forensic Evidence, Great Detectives of the 20th Century, Sharpening Your Observation Skills, Mind Over Matter, Unusual Myths and Superstitions. That's a really long book. Uh, what's this, Optical Illusions? Don't Believe Your Eyes. So is this a picture of two faces looking at each other, or is it a cup? I don't know. Hard to tell. The truth is in here. I should read that book. A Drodobatan Dales of Aseptis Dana. Oh. Yeah, okay, so these are definitely words that are uh, switched around. Uh, the letters are switched around, so this L E C U is actually clue. And a clue. A suspect and a clue. Um. I wouldn't know what the other one. So this is to a sus leads to a suspect and a clue. So a something time to renew. What's this word though? A dwarf rope. A borrowed a borrowed time to renew leads to a suspect and a clue. Ah, ah, we decoded that puzzle. Good for us. Words, words, words! Just too much words in this game. Terror in the tropics, so that sounds like good. The Fall, a mystery. Age of adventure. Voyage south. Perfect alibi. Ultimate detective handbook. Probably should get that one. Journey into the mind. All mystery for all. Secret symbols and the tarot. Why do we even have a palmistry thing in this game? Like, we're not ever going to look at someone's palm. They're all cartoon characters. <laughs> Let's look at these books. The Secret of the Candlelight Inn. Ooh, is that a Nancy Drew book? Uncovering the Secret wi Riddle Within. Study Tips and Secrets. Dream Symbols and Their Meanings. Oh, dreams. Okay, so the door means you can explore. Drugs is lack of control. Murder, repressed rage. Lock, inability to get inside. Always is journey. These are all things in the game. So some of these letters look like they're a different color. D-O-N-T. Don't. Run. Nancy. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, yeah, that secret message is don't run, Nancy. A visitor's guide to Paseo del Mar, reading between the lines. The art of solving mysteries. The criminal justice system. Inside the criminal mind uh, of insiders who behind bars, breaking the code. The mystery of the missing shadows. How does that? The missing shadows. It's like there's no shadows in this one area. How do you even make that mystery happen? It's the, it's somebody's saying, oh, I thought this was a game about Nancy getting locked in the library. That would be an interesting mystery. Nancy's locked in the library needs to find a way to escape. I need to find a way to escape. How do I get away from where I am now? Here. Okay. So the library, in, in appreciation of Principal Boiler Room Door. That's his name. Um, it's an anagram. I guess it could be her name. And more books. Are you excited for more books, everyone? Missing shadows like Peter, Peter Pan. Yes. Okay, your guide to the good life. Skills to success of mice and men stores. Observation of evidence. Are we alone in the universe? Truly wonderful tales. A sign of the times. Ah, sign language. I guess this is useful. So, 5253, five, locker combination, is in blue. Jake, J A K E. Ah, so that's another clue for the locker combo. Sensation and public opinion. You've been given a second chance! If and when, seen but not heard, the great state declaration of my independence. Whoa! Well, that's a great book title. That, that sounds like, you know. I don't know, that sounds like a teenage romance or something like that. Yeah. No, uh, this girl has had it with her parents. She's making a declaration of her independence. History of the Old South. 
Dictionary of handwriting. So handwriting, um, aggressive handwriting, caustic handwriting, deceptive handwriting, ha egotism, large letters, irritable, dashes, and lecherous blotches. Ew. So, under pressure, out of time, original meltdown, case of the missing glass, mystery at Palm Beach, the case of capital intelligence, intrigue, intrigue, tour of danger, web of deceit, a glance backwards, a traveler's guide to southern prosperity, crime at the chat cafe, that's a Nancy Drew book, process of elimination by Carolyn Keene, also a Nancy Drew book. Photographer's Handbook, Elements of Mystery, the hidden, the hidden Show, Programming Your VCR in 50 Easy Steps, Woo! Only 50 Steps, Quantum Physics for the Novice, Boiler Operations, here's how boilers work in case you don't know, I, I'm seeing the picture and I still don't know how boilers work, thanks game, The Art of Glass Cutting, Book of Secrets, Circle of Face, The Criminal, Diners to Die For, Halls of Justice, The End Zone. So many books you can read in this game. So many. Here are some more. Uh, Whispers on a Wind. I can't read that. Mythology, The Long Corridor. Top 100 college preparatory schools in the South. College, The Saboteur, Evil Eye, Searching for Answers, Judo Handbook, Principal Matters, A Time to Remember. Techniques. Wow, look at them all. One such example is the crane style of judo. And I honestly think that's it. I think there are no more books. Oh, wait, we've got another bookshelf, maybe? No, we do not. Okay, I think we've solved all the bookshelves, unless there's some over here on the far side. Okay. CSD. I don't know what that is. So 555-5386. Five, 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 and then these are more... Uh, this is another code. I don't know how to solve that code off the top of my head. I'll have to remember that. 555... Five, five, uh, let me write this down. So it's 555-5836. Five, 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 cool. Okay. And nothing else we can look at here upstairs. Really, there's not much to the upstairs area, just more library clues, really. There's nothing to zoom in on. Not that. Not really. Yeah. Yeah. Rosie and uh, John, and then CW and DG are Tom. Rosie and Tom. Who's Tom? Who's Rosie? I. <laughs> so confused. Back downstairs. Back downstairs. More to check out in the library. I'm doing a thorough search of the library so we don't have to return later. And let's see. More art. Um, there's that angry guy from that other picture. Sports today. This is a good one. Harmful effects of steroids on athletes. Steroids. The insanity of steroid abuse. Why would you use anabolic steroids? Why, why would you risk your life with those? So one of these drawers has a puzzle. Hey, I found it on my first try, really. So diner, um, I see the word diner. May, uh, Jake, maybe those are just words related to the game, I think. Okay, that's the, the map we already saw. Okay, so here you read all the uh, green letters. Or, the blue letters first. The bolt cutters you must take, or you could be the next Jake. Another message from that psychic student. So, uh, it looks like we can't check out any of these Explorer books. Here we go. 
fingerprints. We don't have fingerprints in this game, but I guess it's good to see that fingerprints exist. Hmm, that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Alright, so the kanji says crane, like the crane school of defense. That's a clue. Oh, here's Morse code. I guess I can de decode that puzzle from earlier. I guess. I don't really want to. Uh, can't zoom in on the reference desk. I can zoom in over here. Wow, it looks like some of these things are missing, right? Somebody stole these catalogs. Oh no. What happened to the catalogs? Yeah, so before computers, this is what library catalogs look like. Ing to S. English Essays Throughout the Ages, first edition, 82523. So every single book in the library was just on a little index card inside inside a catalog like that. So that way you could find uh, which books you wanted. And usually, um, usually you had like a drawer for uh, the books that were checked out so you could tell which ones were checked out. I don't know. Some some libraries did, some libraries didn't. Okay. Thousands upon thousands of books, Nancy finds the book she needs on the first try. Because she's Nancy. Okay, let's go to the gym, meet the final character here. Wait, I think we have two two of these decoding things. This one, it, these are like backwards and upside down. This one's backwards and upside down. This one's just upside down. Yeah, one's upside down, one's backwards, one's backwards and upside down. A symbol of kanji worn with great pride reflects a big secret that someone must not hide. Nowhere to turn, nowhere to run. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. Nowhere to run to. Turn to, nowhere to hide. Guide, hide and guide. Everything rhymes for some reason. He did what it took to make the grade, even if it meant cheating to keep up his charade. And here's message two. Uh, if you can read this, you don't need glasses. Uh, wait, what? No. I think this spells out something. Make, M-A-K-E, you, all, that's you, video, I don't know. I think it's like backwards letters or, or sideways letters. Okay, there's the lockers. There's the crane school. It's 555 judo. Get the jump on education. And let's talk to uh, Hector here. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Hulk Sanchez. Hulk. Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the Miami Dolphins. Showtime! Okay, he wants to play for the Dolphins. The Manatees, The though? Manatees? Paseo Del Mar's mascot is a manatee. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little Seco. They, they scare me. I am terrified of manatees. Well, uh, actually, I'm scared of them. Aren't they really dangerous? <laughs> You're not from Florida, are you? There's nothing to be afraid of. Manatees are the friendliest underwater sea cows around. I've been trying to get the coach to change that lame mascot ever since I first made the team. So yeah, it would be nice if this game came with a journal that you could use to keep track of all the clues, but no, you as a player are just supposed to write down the clues on a separate piece of paper, I guess, if you can decode them. So, uh, Hulk, is there nothing to be afraid of? Or is there anything you fear? Hulk, is there anything you fear? Me? When I walk down the halls, it's punks like Jake Rogers who fear me. Okay, somebody decoded the message on the wall. The eye chart says, if you can read this, then make no mistake, a genuine first-class detective you'll make. That's all the letters, uh, the bottom to top. So... Are all football players as aggressive as you are, Hulk? You have to be aggressive if you want to win. That's why I'm the best. Is there anything else I can enlighten you on? Why are there so many police here today? 
I don't see any police in the school, but apparently there are a lot of them. Why are there so many police here today? Somebody killed Jake Rogers. What? Jake Rogers? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. How's it going? Hey, so how can I get into the victim's locker? I want to break into the crime scene. How could I get into Jake's locker? I could tear the door off with my teeth, but it might be easier to just ask Hal Tanaka. His locker was right next to Jake's. Whoa. So do you know Hal? Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine, real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake Rogers. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Secret of the Scarlet Hand, first game to have the journal and the task list. Sounds about right. Um, Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake had something like a journal and a task list, though. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Okay, so the pad in the library was reverse alphabet. A equals Z, B equals Y. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, okay. So Connie's having a really tough time, and why is she hanging out why at the gym? Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. So the library pad said, The one with the temper and the iron fist is more than a prime suspect on Jake's blackmail lists. Why do you think she never joined any teams? Hmm. Not exactly sure. Bye. Bye, Nancy. So something I don't like about this game is that a lot of the conversation options just disappear. So you saw there, it's like, well, you can either ask why Connie doesn't join teams, or you can ask uh, about the hard time she's been going through. And that's it. You only have those two options. You can't ask about both. So, I mean, this was the first Nancy Drew game. But still... It's like, oh, I wish I could talk to them about everything. That would be nice. Hi, Nancy. So, uh, let's ask again about the locker combo. Hulk said your locker was right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hmm. I remember one day Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Would that help? Ah, okay, so another clue about the, the phone. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Talk to you later. See you later, Nancy. Sounds good. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so many things happening. I want, I want to meet the final character of the game, Daryl Gray, and see if he has something to say about Jake's locker combo. But yeah, has Nancy committed any crimes in this game yet? She hasn't committed any crimes yet, right? No breaking and entering. She's just trying to break into a, a police crime scene. That's all. That's all. Let me see, we've got red letters. Soup, ladle, bolt cutters. Yeah, the soup ladle is traded for the bolt cutters, but oh my gosh, these prices. These prices. Ham and cheese sandwich for $1.50. Oh my gosh, 50 cents for hot chocolate and coffee, or root beer, or soda, or to-go soda, which is like so how's that different from normal soda actually i'm i'm a little confused daryl could you help me out you look like you're going to make an excellent addition to paseo del mar high school student body i'm daryl gray renaissance man short order cook student council president and professional escort to pretty new students okay so same thing with daryl you can talk to him about um these three things are but you can't talk to him about more than one. So, ooh, am I really a pretty new student? Do you really think so? <laughs> Definitely. You're amazing. 
You've got a mysterious quality I find very intriguing. Ooh, I'm mysterious. <laughs> mysterious? You seem different from the other girls. I think I'm going to enjoy being your contact. I'm here to help. If the police trust me, so can you. Okay, I know I was just flirting with you, Daryl, but I, I've actually been dating someone, so I, I can't go out with you. Sorry, Daryl. Daryl, you should know I'm involved with someone. I've been seeing him for a while. His name is Ned. That's cool. I always like to check out my options. <laughs> Isn't Ned worried about you? Don't make fun of his name. Worried? If I were Ned, I'd be worried about leaving an attractive girl like you alone with a murderer on the loose. What? Are you saying the murderer only attacks attractive girls? Or I, I don't follow that. So, wh rape, uh, uh, yeah. Jake Rogers Locker, I need help. Could you help me find Jake Rogers Locker? Absolutely, Detective. I'll do anything you want. It's right down the hall from where Jake was killed. Tell me about Jake. He wasn't exactly a friend. He came by the diner a few times. Nancy, I hate to leave such a beautiful detective, but I've got a hot grill waiting for me. See you later, okay? Oh, I've got a hot girl. I mean, hot grill. <laughs> oh, please marry me, Nancy. I'm very lonely. I've got nothing to do all day besides wipe this glass. How can I help my number one detective? Daryl, do you know where I could get Jake Rogers' locker combination? Sorry, can't help you on that one. I'm good, but not that good. Maybe try something close to home, like his birthday or his address. Plot twist, Jake was secretly an attractive girl. Okay. Yeah, so stop flirting with me. Go into the kitchen and make me a sandwich, Daryl. It, it apparently it only costs a buck fifty. I can totally afford a sandwich now. Do you know Connie Watson? I've seen her around, but we've never had a class together. I don't think she's ever been to Maxine's. Why do you think she's never been to the diner? I'm not sure. She's very private about what she does after school. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Well... I know the guy can scarf down half a dozen burgers at a time. He's the best linebacker ever to play for the Manatees. He also told me he's really psyched to play college ball next year. That was also an option when we talked to Hulk. And Nancy's like, college football? What's that? I've never heard of that before. College football? Hulk's dream is to become a great college football star and then play for the Miami Dolphins. He lives and breathes football. Seriously, Nancy has never heard of college football before. It's silly. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Well, for one thing, his name isn't really Hal. He uses Hal because his Japanese name is way hard to pronounce. He's an exchange student who's all study, no play. And he's obsessed with getting a college scholarship. Poor guy. What's wrong with wanting a college scholarship? I feel sorry for him because he's missing out on all the fun of high school. He needs to seriously chill. Hal, Connie, and Hulk didn't seem to like Jake very much. I think they all know something about Jake's death. I just don't know what. If you only had something more solid, I know the police would take you more seriously. But be careful, Nancy. You're in this pretty deep. Things are starting to heat up. Thanks, Jake. I mean, Daryl. See you later. Later, Detective. Oh, Daryl. Oh, Daryl. Let me see... Please seat yourself. Ned's mustard. I like how it's Ned's mustard. Like, Ned... Ned... Nancy's boyfriend just makes mustard in these games now. Here's a puzzle you want to grab the soup ladle ahead of time. So it was soup ladle bolt cutters. It's actually down here. You want to switch these bolt cutters for soup ladle. Otherwise, everything goes kaboom. So good, you switch the bolt cutters for a soup ladle, and now nothing will explode. Oh, it's Mel's Maxine's birthday. Please see Maxine or Mel about overtime. Payday every week. Oh my gosh. And here's a, a clear number cipher where 1 is A, 2 is B. So that's probably Jake's. Yeah, it's Jake's. Yeah, that's, that's as much as I've got <laughs> without having to write it down. Yes. Okay, so support gas line. That's the first letter of every uh, every 
every sentence here. And I think that's basically everything. Minimum wage, four seventy-five a month. No, per hour, right? Is it four seventy-five or five fifteen? That's what minimum wage was back when the game was made in 1990. 1998, the minimum wage in in here, in Florida. Other states might have had a different minimum wage. Yeah, wow, that's just crazy times. Okay, so we have a... We have this, another clue. You can barely read what these things are. Like, uh... Mesquite grilled lamb with ratatouille and thyme sauce, $15. And that's a burger. Okay. Mm, I want some desserts. Well, I think the clue is the colored letter. So A T at Sa. I mean. B A G E. That's not a word. Huh. Maybe it's this. A T B O. A G S E. Ouch. I don't know that secret, secret clue. Okay. So here's a fun thing you all can uh, decide. What 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 do we want to listen to? And this is Nancy Drew, just spelled backwards. So using my quarter. What song? Help Me Nancy, Library Blues, Twist and Fall, Secrets to Kill, Big Girls Don't Die, Shake, Rattle and Roll, Dale of Del Mar, Sea of Manatees, oh, I can't pick Sea of Manatees, Unchained Manatee, Bye Bye Jake, it's almost impossible to read these things, Good Golly Miss Connie, Murder on My Mind, Long Tall Money, Rock Arrested, The Pharmacy, I... The menu spelled sabotage. Yeah, that could have been cool. The red letters were danger. Somebody voted for help me, Nancy. Dear will be good. Manatee blues. Jake the knife. Whoop. No. That, that can't be whoop de doo That's Nancy Drew. Wake up, little Nancy. Help me, Nancy. Yeah, let's go with help me, Nancy. we can play uh, this game. It would have been really cool if we actually got to play this game. I don't know what we would get for it, but it feels like if this was later on in the Nancy Drew series, you would legitimately have a challenge of playing the pinball game in order to get an item that you desperately need. time is it? It's like four something? Okay. I do like this music. It's pretty nice. The calendar alphabet code was Jake's fate happened deliberately. Gravity was not his worst enemy. Okay, so what we do at this point is we basically want to talk to everyone. Oh, and here's a... Um, we can warp anywhere in the game, actually. Except the gym. Or the cafeteria. I guess those were areas they wanted, but never did. Okay, so we can warp in front of the library. We can warp to this part of the gym. Or the student union. Or the study dome. So it would look like this. Why all the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? Oh gosh, she already knows I'm a secret undercover agent. Uh, well, let's just talk to her about everything. Didn't I hear you were dating, Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? I gotta go now. Later. Oh. Well, that was a very short conversation. Okay, so that random phone number I saw earlier. 555-5836. Five, 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 let's see what it what it is. Thank you. 
You have reached the Crane School of Defense. For more information on our programs, please see our advertisements in the Paseo Times and Judo Today magazine. Interesting. Let's call Ned for some help. Maybe Ned has something helpful to say. Yeah, the warp thing isn't very useful because that's the Hi, only Ned. one. I'm in a jam. Do you think you can help me out? To open the victim's locker, I'd think of how letters and numbers could be related. That's an actual clue. Thank you very much, Ned. Let's see if Bess has the same clue from earlier. This is Bess. Bess, I need some help. Any ideas? This is such a puzzling situation. Yep, calling 911 doesn't do anything. Oh well. Well, let's why get back all to the Connie. questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine, and drives a Porsche 911. Woo! Drives a Porsche and works at a diner? <laughs> that doesn't compute. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Yeah, he only works four seventy-five per hour. How can he afford a Porsche? That's that's craziness. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. What a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get a scholarship for college. Lately, he's looking really burnt out. I think the pressure is getting to him. What pressure? Hal is maxing out on course hours this year. He needs to prove himself if he's going to get a scholarship. If he doesn't get a scholarship, he'll have to go back to Japan. That would be a total disgrace for his family. You're wearing a Japanese medallion with a symbol that means crane. And crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. And that's it for that conversation. I'm going to break into the locker now. So it's 5253. Five, Yeah, okay. So, Judo Today. Florida, Paseo Del Mar. A masked marauder flattened the foes. Somebody known as Nineco impressed the capacity crowd with his quickness and control. Such excitement and incredible throwing techniques will make next year's competition more of a treat. Will the masked man return? Who knows? English essays through the ages library book. Uh, we've got a, an essay on etiquette. An empty video cassette tape. Jake's... I guess that's Jake's jacket. We're just gonna take this uh, glass cutter, which was in the bottom of his locker, and this newspaper. Break-in at local pharmacy. There was a break-in at the uh, local pharmacy. They took what they were looking for. They stole steroids. The steroids. You can call the police at 555-4855. Well, let's call the police at 4855. Let's do that. Let's call the police. So Nancy Nancy just committed a crime. She tampered with crime scene evidence. She, she, she has officially broken the law now. She's going to get fined. What did they say? $100,000... Five 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 four eight five five was the uh, clue. Okay, please help me out here. This is Detective Dabromsky. Nancy, quit playing with that phone and get back to work. You've got a murder to solve. Okay, psychic police officer knows that it's Nancy calling. Yeah, so a masked competitor 
using the name Nineco. That's an anagram for Connie, right? That's clearly Connie's name with the letters spelled around a different way. Right? Vane residents, George, this is Nancy. Can you give me some advice? There must be other places around the school to investigate. Have you checked all over? Hmm. So 555 Jake, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Hi, this is Jake's locker. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if Bess gives... Ah, I'll see if Bess gives a new clue. And then that'll be it for the phone calls for this game. Actually, no, you know, I could maybe call Ned again. Ned had a good clue with the, uh, with the locker. Let's see if he can give a, a good clue as to, uh, what the next step is. This is Bess. Bess, I need some help. Any ideas? This is such a puzzling situation. That's, that's really terrible. Okay. Bess is just kind of useless. And yeah, 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 it's clearly the the same person doing the voice for uh, Nancy, Bess, and George in this game. Hello? Hi, Ned. I'm in a jam. Do you think you can help me out? Nancy, be careful. I was afraid that Jake's locker was booby-trapped. And then, um, that's it. Okay. <laughs> well... Let's continue uh, just talking to everybody Hi, about Nancy. everyone else. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? Daryl found Jake's body this morning. He's very popular and a good politician, too. Just like his father. Like his father? Yes. Daryl's father is former U.S. Senator, Eugene Gray. I hear he was a great politician but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Talk to you later. Farewell, Nancy. <laughs> yeah, Ned's clue is pretty useless, but it, it's nice that he cares about Nancy, right? It's nice he was concerned. What is it you want now? Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Someone pointed out there are just cans lying around. Yeah, why don't these kids pick up after themselves? Very messy. Very, very messy indeed. Okay, let's go to Hulk. Then we'll go to Daryl. How's it going? I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? Where'd you hear that? I'm as strong as ever. How's it going? I heard it from Hal, and you don't need to scream at me. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Hulk is just getting mad. Back off, Nancy. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Tell me about the robbery at the Drug Depot Pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 they need a janitor at this school. It's like, why are you so interested in Jake? He was murdered today. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Bye. I'm out of here. Random piece of paper on the ground. I think this is the set of stairs where the murder took place. Yeah, Nancy can't even explore the second floor of this uh, school, can she? I really do wish there was another one of those warp things, right? There's only the one, though. That's... Very sad. So I'm going to talk to Daryl about everything now. And then we'll start with the puzzle solving, because I think we're at the end of talking to everybody about everyone else. How can I help my number one detective? Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? Well, 
Jake was a member of the film club. He was always messing around with video equipment. Film club? A former student donated some high-tech video equipment to the club. Jake was filming his own project. Any idea what Jake's film project was about? Not sure. I guess he was shooting a documentary, because I never saw him with a script or any actors. Looks like Jake had a hold on both Hulk and Connie. What now? Look for some incriminating evidence, or just wait for one of them to squeal. My guess is, Hulk's the one who had the muscle to take on Jake. It could never have been Connie. Why would Jake have an old English book in his locker? Jake wasn't really what you'd call a scholar. I don't know why he'd have that book. Was Jake interested in judo? <laughs> You're kidding, right? The only physical thing Jake did was to think up new ways to get other people to do his work for him. What do you know about the break-in at the pharmacy? Well, the police thought it was a prank at first because it didn't look like anything had been taken. Then the pharmacist found one particular drug missing. I think it was a steroid or something. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Yeah, the characters in this game get so mad at Nancy so easily. It's, it is amazing. Yep. Okay, so... Nancy's gonna break the window here using uh, the glass cutter. That way she can get into the teacher's lounge. So the passcode on the computer. Eloise Drew, O Wise Elder. To do list. Uh, that book is missing. Hey, we found it though. Maintenance to-do list, call Dylan HVAC, change password for boiler room door, not available, CDs not available, <laughs> no CDs, no floppy disks for this computer, I guess I could need to find one. I like how there's a help system which explains how to use the, the, the computer, but unless you click on it first, it's not very useful. So look at all these rooms, though. Imagine if all these were places we could examine. Like the copier's work, and then the... The... The maintenance room was notes? Eloise Drew, two lights were left on. Thank you, head of security. The singular email, and of course the internet's not available. Why would internet be available? Trash is empty. Yeah, I think maybe Nancy Nancy doesn't get seen by Connie for whatever reason. Does Connie not see Nancy? Connie should see Nancy through this door. She just doesn't. This spells out Tanaka Cheats, the first letter of everyone's name. Oh, wow, that's not cool. Tanaka? A cheater? Why would Hal be a cheater? Can't open any of these things up. While you were out, before you see the enemy, examine the l 4 elevator. Elevator. Elevator? I don't think it was an elevator, though. Hmm. Because we printed out this security report. Left lights on library. Sent an email to Eloise Drew. All the outer drawers were checked. Backpack belonged to Connie Watson. Found in the student union. Toolbox from Dylan HVAC in the boiler room. Left note. Several security lights out. Uh, work order submitted. Patrolled on foot. Dumpsters by cafeteria were not secured. There were raccoons. I sent notes to kitchen staff to secure the dumpsters. Those raccoons are everywhere. A young man peering through the school entrance doorway identified himself as an exchange student trying to get his homework. I let him into his locker and let him out. Uh, approximately 8.30, I saw two individuals arguing in the video lab in the front on the first floor. I approached the lab. The two males exited from the door and ran down the hall towards the school entrance when they saw me. First, a male, approximately 5 foot 5 inches, 120 pounds, red hair, 15 to 18 years old. That's Jake. Jake, uh... Apparently had red hair. Nobody else mentions this. He wore a green windbreaker jeans. Second male, older, heavy set, 25 to 30 years old. Younger male ran out through the school exit while the older male continued down the hallway. I pursued the older man but could not locate him after he turned the corner. 
He must have used that warp to uh, just go from one area of the school to the other. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, the exit near the boiler room had already been unlocked, so I suspect the trespasser had a key to open it. A work order for the lock to be changed has been submitted. No equipment is vandalized or missing in the video lab. I left a message with L. Stevens about the incident. Caught several students, so being the teacher's lounge windows. Students admitted they were engaged in a senior prank. I instructed them to clean the windows and leave campus. The students involved were Daryl Gray, Elena Morgan, Lionel Ibsen, Linda Taika, Odelia Carson, and Neil Hendrickson. Students' names given to Principal Park. Fixed running toilet and second room floor is a very busy night. Acme di Digital Forum, uh, Braille. Braille, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is another number cipher where a one equals A, two equals B, and so on. Final papers. Hal. Hal's confidential uh, senior this essay. This essay looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. It's exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Hal plagiarized his essay. Hal, how could you do that? A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a great size. CW, 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 CW. Connie Watson's everywhere. Donuts. Oh, I want some donuts. I want some donuts right now. I'm hungry for donuts. More books. These are all about schools, it looks like. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can zoom in on here. The last initials. The last initials. Last name initials. <laughs> the clue on that thing. Okay, so the students... The note, the student's name spell out... Uh, Dylan, uh, the initials spell out Mitch Dylan. Um, you have to get rid of one last name initial to make it fit, though. Nancy, Nancy is... Oh, man, that student prank was illegal, soaping up the windows? Oh, my. That's not good. Can we talk to Daryl about the fact that he uh, was soaping up the windows and such? Oh, can I help my number one detective? Hal, Hulk, and Connie were all involved with Jake. He had information that could jeopardize Hal's career. Connie once dated Jake, and Hulk seems awfully touchy about that break-in at the drug depot. In my humble opinion, you either hand the case over to the police, or keep pressuring each of them until somebody cracks. Oh yeah, Nancy, I just remembered. Some guy dropped off this note for you. I think it's important. A note? A note? Yeah, it's right here. It must have something to do with the case. What was that? I thought I heard somebody else talk. Rabba, rabba. See you later. I have the solution to your mystery. Meet me in the boiler room. Oh my gosh. We did it, everybody. We have the boiler room. How can I help my number one detective? See you later. Bye, Nancy. Okay, uh, I have a magic quarter, actually. Did the quarter just go back in Nancy's inventory? It did. It's a magic quarter. No matter how many times you use it, it always comes back. I like it. So then let's do Big Girls Don't Die. Ooh. Like it. Twist and fall. Ooh. Good golly, Miss Connie. I like that one. Oh man, techno dance, everybody! How can I help my number one detective? See you later. Later, detective. I kind of want to stay in... Oh, the song's over. Okay. Well, uh... <clears throat> the boiler room. The boiler room door was note. And I don't know what note is in Braille. I'll have to go to the library for that.
That's the wrong key. Yeah, it's a pity we never hear those cool soundtracks, those cool music things again. They were they were pretty neat. Where's the one for Braille? Oh no. Not Morse code. I want one that has Braille here. So note is gosh. I'm gonna have to take a note of this. Where's here we go. Just grabbing my phone here and uh, taking a picture. Move my mouse out of the way so I can actually see what those letters are. Thank you. And now let's do it. We're gonna solve this puzzle. Go here. was note. N. O. T. And then E. This is the elevator. There's a murder. The library is locked. There are no teachers around, but the the students are still hanging around. So we have two ways to solve this puzzle. Uh, the bolt cutters is the easy way. Just use the bolt cutters. Yeah. Or you could, uh, the combination is one, nine, six, seven. So that's the combination. So here you want to grab the, uh, the hand things. Gloves. They're called gloves. <laughs> yeah. And you want to get them set like this. Bottom left, bottom right, upper left. Because otherwise Nancy can't touch them. They're too hot, I think. So it's bottom left. Uh, bottom right, and then upper left. How can I move the upper left one? Okay. So I have to get this in that position so I can move that. So bottom left, bottom right, and then upper left. Should be good, right? I think that's it. I think I turned off the boiler so now it won't explode and kill Nancy. And somebody broke the elevator so I can't go back upstairs. Oh no. Oh no. How sad. Five 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 three seven eight four. Yeah, you do need the gloves so you can grab that. And th what's this Maxine's Diner? So it's five 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 two seven zero zero. Let's call both phone numbers. Why not? Why not? So the culprit went to Maxine's. Danger, high voltage. Okay. Oh yeah, and you can look up again. Up and down and around. Wow, what is this thing? I don't know. So here in the corner, ooh, some tape. Nancy's just going to crawl through the vent, everyone. And here we go. We found a top secret tape inside the vent. The vent which leads outside the school. So we just broke into that vent. Can we just crawl back into the boiler room? We can. I don't know why you would, but you can. That's so cool. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna make those phone calls. Yeah, let's make these phone calls. I'm trying to get this to the zoom in thing. I think I could talk to Connie what about. What is it you want now? No, I cannot. Goodbye. I'm out of here, Nancy. I'm out of here, Monster. Why would I talk to you? Seriously. Okay, so it's numbers. Five, 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 three, seven, eight, four.
Hello, you have reached Vandalay Pharmaceuticals Drug Depot. Due to unforeseen depletions of our drug supplies, we are temporarily closed. Yep, yep, crawling through a vent. I don't know how Nancy fits inside that vent. It must be a very, very large vent. She didn't even bother putting the cover back. She just leaves it open so everybody knows. Okay, let's call that second number for Maxine's. This is Maxine's. Hi, I'm Maxine. Come on down for the best burgers in town. Woo! Daryl, you stop that. <laughs> see uh, if calling Nancy's friends helps. They'll probably just tell her to watch the tape, right? Hello? Hi, Ned. I'm in a jam. Do you think you can help me out? Nancy, I don't know how else to help. Just be careful, okay? Uh... Pess and George have anything new to say. Fane residents, George, this is Nancy. Can you give me some advice? I'm stumped, Nancy. I'm afraid I'm not very much help. No! Thanks. At least you're being honest about it. This is Bess. Bess, I need some help. Any ideas? Aunt Eloise just loves to hide things. Why not go to her house and take a look around? Hmm. That was a clue. I don't know what it's a clue for, but it was most definitely a clue. Let's take a look at that vent again. So how large is that vent? Hmm, let's see. Hard to get a sense. Okay, so this is this is the size of a cup. And that's a so a cup and a trash can lid. And the vent is I'd say it's a little wider than a trash can lid, and maybe about as tall as a trash can lid. I don't know. I don't know, it looks like a pretty big vent. It looks like a pretty big vent, I would say. gonna put uh, oh wait we need to turn on the TV and then put the tape in to watch it so Hulk stealing drugs from the pharmacy naughty naughty the masked judo contestant Connie Here's Hal plagiarizing with a giant book. Seriously, that was a humongous book. I don't think it was that size in, in the actual locker. And what's this, Daryl? Daryl is uh, giving paper. I don't know what he's doing. He's selling paper to some some guy. How mysterious. So, everybody was doing something naughty. Everybody had a killer secret, and Jake was blackmailing everyone over this secret. Back in 10 minutes. All right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, we need to talk to everybody in school about their secret before we can talk to uh, talk to Daryl about his secret. What is it you want now? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Why did you enter a men's tournament when you could have easily won the women's division? The prize money is a lot better in the men's division. It was enough to cover the tuition for college next year. Hey, 
I'll do whatever it takes to reach my goal. Now I'm going to be the first one in my family to go to college. Whatever it takes? Even murder? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. Whoever pushed Jake down the stairs also beat him up. Someone with a black belt could have done it. I despise Jake, but I'd never think of killing him. My only crime was to lie to get into the tournament. You can turn me in if you want to. I'm telling the truth. Goodbye. See ya. Yeah, I wonder what Daryl is selling on that piece of paper. Like, bank codes, top secret information... A list of really cool burger places in town? I don't know. Hi, Nancy. Jake knew you copied your essay from that book of English essays, didn't he? Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester. Or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. It is funny how in this game, Nancy will just accuse everyone of murder. She's like, Connie, would you resort to murder? Hal, were you desperate enough to kill? Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Nancy. Alrighty, so now let's talk to Hulk. Let's accuse him of murder. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Jake knew you broke into the drug depot. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. Would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. Why did you steal the steroids? I got hurt really bad in a game a few weeks back. Broke four ribs and cracked two others. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt needed to impress the scouts. And then I started taking steroids. It wasn't worth it because I was still in pain and all my free time was spent playing errand boy for Jake. Did you kill him? I'm not a killer, Nancy. I didn't do it. I'm sorry Jake's dead, but I can't waste my time worrying about it. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. I've told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Oh, man. Uh, he is very unrepentant about what he did. Let's see if the other characters have uh, uh, anything to say. I think that's it. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Oh, Connie's pretty happy to Goodbye. talk to me. I'm out of here, Nancy. Hulk is just really mad. And then uh, Connie's like, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Talk to you later. I must go now, Nancy. Yeah, it does not take much to get these characters to confess to their crimes. Maybe the guilt has been eating them up inside. And now we can talk to Jake? Yeah, no, no, Jake. Daryl. Daryl's here. Hey, Daryl, how's it going? Let's pick a song, though. What was that really awesome song? Where's my magic quarter? Jake the knife, I like it. How can I help my number one detective? I saw Jake's tape, Daryl. I know he was blackmailing you. You got me there, detective. But it didn't have to be like this. I wish we had met under different circumstances. Okay, what were you selling? Drugs? 
trade secrets. What were you selling? Drugs? Trade secrets? I didn't know what I was getting into. This guy, Mitch Dillon, offered me a way to make some fast money. I needed the cash for school next year. So I went for it. All I had to do was pick up a package at the pharmaceutical company. But then Mitch threatened me. So, Daryl was selling drugs. So you were a drug runner? Oh, Daryl. But how did Jake find out? I don't know. But Jake was always getting into someone's business. Maybe he overheard a conversation between me and Mitch. All I know is one day Jake stuck a videotape in my face and told me he had enough to put me away unless I paid him off. I had no choice but to cooperate. I guess he decided he could get more money out of Mitch. That was a big mistake. Mitch was in a different league than Jake. Look, someone's saying, it's like, what sort of trade secrets is Daryl selling? Yeah, I mean, like, how does he have access to trade secrets? He's just a high schooler who works at a diner. <laughs> um, okay, so, Mitch is the murderer. We just figured out who the murderer was five minutes before the end of the game. It's Mitch, the character we've never heard of before. It's uh, Daryl's drug buddy. Mitch killed Jake, didn't he? Mitch is totally capable of it. Did Mitch also leave that note for me? Nancy, you have no idea what kind of danger you're in right now. Mitch Dillon has nothing to lose at this point. Do yourself a favor and go to the cops. Do you really want me to go to the police? Actually, I wish you could just forget this whole thing ever happened. But since you can't do that, I'd like to help. If it's not too late, you can help. We need to get more evidence on Mitch Dillon. If only we can get him to confess his involvement with Jake's murder somehow. I care about you, Nancy, and wish you weren't involved in this mess. But if you insist, I'll help you catch Mitch. I have to deliver more food to the pharmaceutical plant later. We can try and grab Mitch when I give him the package tonight. See you later. Take care, detective. Okay, so uh, we're gonna steal it when it's tonight. We're gonna do the next drug run tonight, basically. So he's making a drug run tonight. So Nancy's gonna, Na Nancy, we're gonna confront Nit, we're gonna confront Mitch during the drug run tonight. I, I do love the music in the background during that big confession. It was fantastic. Well, Daryl's dad used to be a senator, remember? Used to be. Uh, that's what, uh, that's what Hal said. He's not a senator anymore. Former U.S. Senator Eugene Gray. So... Former senator means not currently a senator. Right? Right? I think. I could be... No, no, no. I think that's it. I think I'm correct. Let's talk. Let's talk to everybody. Hey, will you help us stop the culprit, the murderer? I've told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. <laughs> it's like, oh boy, I care about you, Nancy. I just met you today, but I really, really care about you. We need to get evidence about Mitch. Well, you could just go to the police and confess. That could count as evidence. But no, let's just attack Mitch without any backup besides uh, high schoolers. Let's do this. Hulk, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. Sorry, babe. I can't risk getting involved. Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody's saying in the original book, he was actually selling trade secrets to the Russians. Yes, yes, he was selling it to evil communists. And there was a big car chase to stop the Russians. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, Nancy, need something? Yeah, I remember that now. It was crazy times. Connie, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, the case will move a lot quicker. Uh, I wish I could, Nancy. I can't take that kind of risk right now. Not with college, just around the corner. If I get involved, the truth about the tournament would be exposed. I'll never go to college if that happens. You're already involved. If you cooperated, you'd be helping out Daryl Gray. This is so hard for me. I've been wanting Daryl to notice me since I was a freshman. But I've come too far to mess up my chances of getting into college. Daryl's in big trouble with the police. If he helps catch Jake's killer, the police might go easier on him. I can't do it. I have too much to lose right now. Oh yeah, no, the original book was written during the Cold War. So, you know, the United States was at war with Russia at the time. 
and so and so the the Russians were basically generic bad guys in uh, in that series. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Hal, we're gonna find the person who killed Jake. Hal, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. My future is at stake. I have to make the grades, or my family won't continue to pay for my education. I must go now. Nancy, I'm sorry, but I can't talk to you any longer. No! No! There's too much at stake for me right now. I wish I could do more, but I can't. Yeah, these... these people... Just refusing, refusing to help because they're jerks. Let's see what the Hulk's I refuse to help statement is. Hey, I'm with you, but I can't get involved. There's no way I'm risking my football career. I care more about football than anything else. And it's nighttime. Everything's closed. Oh. <laughs> Open! Oh, wait, not really. Okay, let's do this. So we've talked to everybody. You ready for the end of the game? You ready? Let's do this. Oh no, Mitch punches Jake. Oh no! Oh! So he's got a gun. Oh man, Daryl is shot. Ha! Ah, ah. You want to pick up the gun and use it on Mitch quickly. Dear Dad, case closed and Mitch is on his way to prison. Daryl's recovering just fine and Connie's giving him private judo lessons. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy and Hal got his scholarship. Today, Aunt Eloise got a letter from a friend. Something about a television station and death threats. Sounds like another case for Nancy Drew. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Love, Nancy. Yeah, just casually point the murderer's weapon at him. That's how you stop the murderer. <laughs> it is cool. He shakes his fist at Daryl before pulling out a gun on him. It's a very intense ending. We've, we've got this drug runner. Uh, actually, in the, in the remastered version of the game, they use the book storyline of him selling international like military secrets to uh, to another. Should we play the remastered version of the game? I, I think we should. We should do that. That would definitely be awesome. So yeah. Do 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 do. Yeah. Yeah, that ending confrontation is like two seconds long. That's kind of crazy times. These are all the people who helped made the game. Painters. I'm going to assume they did something with the game, not that they just painted the walls of the studio. I don't know where the start of the song is and where it ends in this version of the rap. I know with the, uh... Because the rap came on the game CD, but it's, it's not actually in the, the game. This is an instrumental. So it's like... Oh, peeking and a-sneaking over the horizon, who could it be? N to the A to the N, C, Y. Does it battle with her cliffs? But wait, cliffs? That doesn't make sense. Does not battle with her fists, but with her mind all the time? When she's solving a mystery. Bad boys and girls, your history lock. Oh, hey, the CFO is Doyle Burnett. That was the name of the, the security officer in the, uh, in the uh, letters. Okay, so the people who made this game put themselves in the game. That's cool. Yeah. So Nancy, Nancy apparently was uh, packing heat in this game. That's how she stops the uh, culprit. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, uh, Nancy Drew, Secrets Can Kill, the first Nancy Drew game.